key reason why Glastonbury occupies such a mythic place in the English consciousness is because of an apocryphal Christian story about Jesus himself visiting Glastonbury when he was in his teens. Hence the line in the hymn Jerusalem, did those feet in ancient times. Founder of Glastonbury Festival, Michael Evis, is a Methodist. So the question we're setting out to answer today is, is God still here? God's God. everywhere, man. Yeah. Nah. Is he? Is that up here? It's having a little party. Okay. So they're definitely here somewhere. I'm a Norse god. Does that count? God. Are you fucking stupid? <laughs> Science. Who God. needs God when there's the Avengers? I felt close to God definitely a few points during this festival in the house tent just like pumping it. <laughs> oh happy day. Oh happy day. There's a lot of soul in the music and a lot of soul comes from church. Especially in the black community. It's um it's a very meaningful hope. But yeah. you were singing when Jesus comes, right? So it's about the second coming, when he comes yeah, back. Yeah, but I don't right? look in too deep into the um, lyrics of it. I'm more of an um, energy person, personally. Yeah, I like Amber. What energy rather than God? Well, no, I think God energy. You sit next to a person, you can tell if they've got bad energy or not, right? How am I doing? You're all right, you're not too bad. That's good. That Do you bad? think there's more sort of uh, good energy around here than there would be if we were in the middle of London, say? I think London, everyone's caught up in their lives. I think escapism is good for people. It's got a sort of spiritual aspect. Yeah, it? And, it, and it takes them out of their shell as well. First time for me, so... Is it? I, I'm just first time it. you've been? Yeah. I don't know, it might change me the first time I came. Really? Yeah, because everyone's been nice to each other. It's nice, isn't it? Well, if God is anywhere, he, she, it is most likely to be somewhere around here, the healing field, where we're told there may be Friday prayers happening. The healing field, unfortunately, is about an hour's pilgrimage up there. Can you tell me why you've come to the Hare Krishna tent? Because it's like free food. Free food. Yeah, Do you know anything yeah. about Hare Krishna? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Like, a lot of like, they're all like spiritualists and all that. Like, I don't know. Like, yeah, I only like. Oh, the chants? Yeah, the yeah, chants. Yeah, chants. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. We find a very uh, nice atmosphere, you know, when people are out of their ordinary daily lives and coming to an event which is uh, you know very different and very out of the box. We're not on a big uh, sort of recruitment drive we're trying to share with people like what, what a lot of things that we explain about our culture is already part of a greater society you know the, the yoga meditation you know spiritual wisdom vegetarianism some devotees walking around the site chanting right yeah, yeah. why do you do that what 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 is the function of that 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 is basically the, this mantra that we're chanting it uh, enters the heart it creates emotion uh, so th this particular sound vibration uh, is transcendental Why is it Christmas here today? There's always a theme that we choose, and this year somebody had the very bright idea of Christmas, which meant that we could decorate it in a way which made it bright, um, and, and it's, it's worked very well. We've got the fairy lights up. I'm not quite so sure it worked as well yesterday afternoon when people started doing karaoke a Christmas song. Yes, maybe this is what Christmas is like in Australia. Yeah. <laughs> it is a church, but it's, it's a church without those normal barriers that often keep people out of it. I literally come up every day, I've got my friends to come up. Are you, like, are you a Christian yourself? No, it's just a nice place to, to... They're really nice, do loads of free, like everything's free. You, know, you can have a sleep there if like you're lonely or you're scared. Like It's just like no one else would be doing that, you know what I mean? So It's a place of, of sanctuary. Sanctuary from what? Whatever you might be trying to get away from. We have a number of people that come up here to sleep. How many uh, people, like last night, slept here? There was about 10 people that came up last night. Have you talked to the people here about their beliefs? Have you sort of soaked up any uh, of that? I've had a few debates about, like, beliefs. Yeah, it's great, though, because they they're not trying to force it on you, you know what I mean? It's not like 
yeah, it's just pretty much just chilled. Like they're not trying to go, yeah, it's convert. I'm independent. That's what oh, I do. Yeah. I do festivals as a Christian. I'm a cool. evangelical. I'm oh, a bit, okay, I'm a yeah, bit we'll more. To I'm a bit more radical. <laughs> are, you? are you here to, t to change the way that people live? Because this place is very, you know, people behave in a very, very hedonistic way. You know, they get intoxicated. They do all sorts of things that I would imagine, from a Christian perspective, you think don't represent the right way to live. Levi asked Jesus to go to a party, and everyone was there. The Bible tells us, including all the worst of people and the most hated of people. What did Jesus do? Did he turn his back on him and say, no, I can't go to a place like that with you? He says, yes, I'll be there, and he went with him. <laughs> I think God in the spiritual sense is here to any degree. <laughs> uh, God in the spiritual sense. Uh, if, if people are looking for it, I think it's there. Uh, same as in any walk of life. But here um, specifically? It's, yeah, it's probably in a, you know, it's in, it's in a blade of grass, you know. I don't know whether it's in a line of crystals being sold by some dodgy guy, though. <laughs> I don't know whether it's there. But if you want to see it in a, if you want to see it in a grain of sand, you know, I think William Blake was onto it. It's around 1.30 now is the time that Friday prayers was meant to be happening. Unfortunately, we can't hear the call to prayer. The most I can hear is the sound of frenzied applause from the pagan wedding over there and the distant rumble of the hives. I was out last night and you just take pictures in the dark, look at your camera and the orbs are there. And what do you think they represent? They're spirit entities. They come to play. They like Glastonbury. They like the energy of all the people here. They come to party. But someone who has been physically alive at some point yes, is represented yeah. by each of these orbs. Yes. Right. It's definitely not because you've got dirt on the lens or anything. No, because there's pictures them. I take, swing the camera another way, or be in a field at a different time, and there's not one orb in sight. We're all searching for something, and someday, at some point, everyone in this place in Glastonbury are going to ask this question. Why am I here? Where am I going? What's my reason for living and is there anything else? Since you got here, have you asked yourself any big questions? Big questions? Why um, do I do this to How many questions? Why do I do this to myself? Oh. Why didn't I have a beer next to me while Why I woke I up? Penis <laughs> that was the in question. the toilet. <laughs> what day is it? <laughs> for one thing. I mean, like, why the vaccines playing on the bloody... <laughs> That's one. a very good question. I asked myself the question of, this is my first Glastonbury, what? <laughs> What's happening? I don't understand my life right now. We are the world. We are the world. 